Pioneer released their new version of Recordbox and Recordbox DJ version 5. Are you curious what this new version brings to the table? Pros and cons, first impression? They say it's much faster and the interface is more responsive. But is it? And did they finally fix the resolution problems on smaller screens? Let's find out. For more videos about producing and DJing, subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and hit the bell button below to get notified when I upload a new video. With that out of the way, my name is Dexter Clark and we're going to take a look at Recordbox DJ and Recordbox DJ version 5. Let's dive into the program in a minute. First, let's talk about what's new. Pioneer added support for the DDJ XP1 and the DJ MS9. You can now import a playlist with music files from your USB or SD to Recordbox and it's now possible to play tracks from your USB or SD device. They added the key shift and key sync feature in Recordbox DJ. They added support for 16 hotcue and Pedifax. Added the keyboard mode, added the B loop mode, added the option to play a hotcue before reaching the next beat. Added options to select the quantized beat length added the option to sync tracks with BPM half or double the speed and customize pad modes in track editor and functions assigned to the pads on the DDJ XP1. And some of the new improved features are the renewed graphical user interface, improved accuracy of beat grid analysis, ability to set beat grids from tracks with no temporal transients, the first bar can be placed at any position of the track, shorter track loading times when a track was loading using a controller and more options for browse font size and line space. Let's go over a couple of new features and changes. Before you begin, please make sure that you make a backup first. You can download Recordbox for free from Pioneer's website. Not PioneerDJ.com but Recordbox.com. The software itself will show that there is a new version available. Let's install the new version of Recordbox. After the installation is complete, you can start it from Launchpad. When you install Recordbox 5, it will install next to Recordbox 4. It will not replace Recordbox 4 so you can go back if you want to. The first thing that I noticed is that it starts way quicker and that's the first point I'd like to address, speed and responsiveness. Now you see the real-time startup speed on the same computer with an SSD drive. Recordbox wasn't very fast even with an SSD. The speed has indeed improved, it's still not lightning fast but it is quicker. Pioneer says that they have reprogrammed the engine of Recordbox. Now let's take a look at the real-time importing speed of the same 15 songs. You can see the progress in the progress column or in the status bar on the bottom of the screen. For the sake of this video I shortened the clip but the correlation in time between the two versions is still intact. And you may notice that Recordbox 4 is quicker and Recordbox 5 is slower. It may be more accurate according to Pioneer itself but it is slower. Now it's done. Now let's take a look at switching between the export mode and the performance mode, so Recordbox DJ. And indeed Recordbox 5 is quicker. And searching in Recordbox 5 is almost as fast as in Recordbox 4. And as you can see, loading a track via a controller has a near identical loading time in contrast to what Pioneer says in its release notes. Visually, I noticed that the graphical user interface is much more cleaner than before. It makes me think of Serato, which isn't a bad thing. When I look at the tracks, I can see 7 tracks instead of 8 without having to scroll, so that's a penalty for Pioneer. But the playlist, on the other hand, the icons are smaller, the font seems larger and the space between the items smaller so you can see more playlists in one overview. One of the new features worth mentioning is the two-way device sync. In Recordbox 4 you could export your songs to USB but not from USB to Recordbox. 
That has changed in Rekordbox 5. In theory, you could take someone else's USB drive with a Rekordbox library and import it into your own. The synchronization feature in Rekordbox 4 didn't function properly in the first place. Sometimes not all your songs were exported to USB, so I'm a bit skeptical. Synchronization algorithms in computer programs are generally a bit quirky. Duplicates and non-synchronized items are no exception in the most advanced programs. Even big tech giants like Apple has synchronization issues with their notes, calendar and reminder iCloud apps. Regretfully, I can't show you yet how this works and if it works. Another new feature is that you can play your music directly from your USB drive. And even drag it in the player with all hot cues and cue points. The players in Rekordbox DJ work somewhat different. Now you can set directly loop in and out points without a controller and also double the loop and cut it in half. You can also directly edit the cue points from the performance mode and directly input the BPM for a track. Also nudging a track back and forth has become more intuitive. What I don't like is that buttons in general have become smaller. You have to aim your mouse cursor real precise, which can be a bit frustrating. It's very easy to miss a button. For example, the quantize function has become a really small button in the export mode too. In Rekordbox 4, the button was large and prominent. Also, the Q and play have become teeny tiny buttons. Then, the new key sync feature in Rekordbox DJ. Now you can match the key of another song by transposing. You can also transpose a song a few semitones manually. Really cool feature. This makes harmonic mixing even easier, also with songs that are not in the same key. But I can't get it to work. I wanted to key match a song in 1A, A flat minor, with 3A, B flat minor, which should be a difference of two semitones. I also tried 7A, D minor, with 9A, E minor, but the same result. I'm probably doing something wrong or there's a bug in the software or the software doesn't support Camelot keys, I don't know. I get an error message. When you drag the screen to the left in Rekordbox DJ, there are two new features. Recording a matching song, which was only present in the export mode previously, and the loop to sampler with the scissor icon. You can drag the loop to a slot in the sampler to use it as a sample. But be careful not to do that on a song that is currently playing, as is shown in this example. You can accidentally grab the waveform and scrub the song. One of the things that frustrated me was that the layout of Rekordbox DJ didn't match the layout of the controller that was especially designed for Rekordbox. I'm talking about the order of the pads. This is now somewhat fixed because of instead of tab sheets, the different pads are shown in a pull down menu. And I still miss a button in Rekordbox DJ to jump to the beginning of a song. Can you use DJ controllers in the export mode? No, still not. It would be useful though to quickly set your cue points or hot cues after importing your songs into your library. But now you can do that in Rekordbox DJ, which wasn't possible before. So that is somewhat of an alternative. And did Pioneer finally fix the resolution problem on smaller laptop screens? No, still not. When you have a screen size of 1280 by 800 pixels, which 13 inch notebooks have, you still can't see the whole screen and have to move the window around to reach all the buttons in the software. And is connecting with your CDJs via the Pro DJ Link connection still the same? Yes, I don't see a difference. And it still doesn't work in the performance mode either, so no joining your CDJs with your DJ controller for a third and fourth deck. That's all we have time for today, guys. If you took any value from this video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos about DJing and producing, and hit the bell button below to get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and bye!